Alright guys, so I'm starting off with a board that's about 20 inches long, 9 and 3 eighths wide, and 2 and 3 quarters thick. It's a, a cherry board. I'm planing both sides down to get them smooth so I could take it to the table saw and cross cut them. I first thought to use my cross cut sled to cut up the slab, but the depth of cut wasn't deep enough and it was coming out too uneven. I realized that the board was wide enough so I didn't even need to use my crosscut sled. I could just take it at the fence and rip it down from there. And this worked really well. Now I'm just getting it ready for the glue up, making sure the grain is all aligned. For the glue up I'm using Tight Bond 3 mainly because it's waterproof. But honestly, there's a lot of other glues that would work just as well. So do your research and choose appropriately. Also take note that I rotated each piece 90 degrees so the end grain is facing up. You should add a little more glue than you think you need and a few more clamps also. Now that I've waited overnight, the glue is dry enough to take it to the planer where I take thin passes because it's end grain and it's hard on the planer knives. And just doing some cleanup. Now that both faces are flat, I could take it to the joiner and flatten one of the edges. And just flattening the other edge on the table saw. And cleaning it up on the jointer. I've clamped the board to my miter gauge and using the fence just to line it up, I'm cleaning up the two short edges and I'm taking light passes on the table saw to reduce burning. And flipping it over and doing the other side. I'm marking off the corners so I could take it to the belt sander and round them over. And just cleaning everything up with the random orbit sander. I don't know why I didn't film it, but I put a chamfer around all the edges also. Here I've raised the chamfer bit and using two stop blocks, I'm able to route out the, the groove for your fingers. And just cleaning up the burning with a file. I'm using a Forstner bit to drill the holes for the feet, and I will cut that from dowel stock on the bandsaw. And a 
I'll glue the feet in. And now the long process of sanding. I start with 150 and I work my way up to 320. For the finish, I'm using canola oil and olive oil in equal parts. I flood it on using a foam brush and wait about 5 minutes. Once the wood absorbs most of the oil, I sprinkle on flour and with a foam pad and 220 grit sandpaper, I sand that into the pores. The flour really helps seal up the pores in the wood and makes the wood shine. And now I flip it over and do the bottom. I really like how it came out and the look of the end grain. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.